Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in our journey to building a Binance bot. Today we're going to be exploring a market making strategy called scalping. It's uh, possibly an offensive name. I didn't come up with it. I'm just discussing it today and how we can implement it in code using Python. So a little bit about market orders 101. There's a lot more information on the internet if you'd like to learn about this, but essentially the market is made up in bids and asks. Bids are the highest amount someone is willing to pay for an item, such as a cryptocurrency, and an ask is the lowest amount someone will sell it for. So if, just to give a kind of go about this a little bit backwards, a losing strategy we could Im implement with our bot is to buy at the asking price and to sell at the bid price because there's always a difference between the two in any market and that would just be simply a losing strategy. So we're going to, with that in mind, I'm going to talk a little bit more about scalpers. So this is our definition from Wikipedia. <clears throat> excuse me, which has a great article on this topic and you can read more if you'd like. But essentially, scalpers attempt to act like traditional market makers or specialists. To make the spread means to buy at the bid price and sell at the ask price in order to gain the bid-ask difference. So rather than us losing the bid-ask difference, which could be between 1% or higher, or oftentimes a lot less, maybe 0.1%, we're trying to gain that in our trading rather than lose that. And that's called making the spread. We'll talk a little bit more about all these terms coming up, but that's just to give you a pretty general idea. So on the left side of the screen, we can see a tradition, well, both of these are graphs of our market for this one is Ethereum compared to USDT. And along the left-hand side is our quantity. So however much is either for sale or wanting to buy. And along the bottom, our x-axis is the price. So for example, there's approximate, at the price of $655.50, there's about three Ethereum for sale at this time. This was Wednesday, April 25th, around midnight so there's people that want to buy about three Binance or excuse me Ethereum for approximately six hundred and fifty five dollars and fifty cents and that's the bids the blue line so the asks is our red line and these are the sellers so these people want to sell so for example you look approximately at six hundred and fifty seven dollars there's about ten Ethereum for sale and the difference between the maximum bid and the minimum ask is our spread. And the value you see there, 0 0.0166, is a percentage. So to go back to our losing strategy, if we were to buy at the lowest ask and sell at the highest bid, we would lose 0.16% in every trade. So by scalping, and now I'm going to switch to the right side screen um, graph. So for scalping, we'd like to buy from the bids and sell for the from to the asks. So we'd like to buy, for example, at 633, and we'd like to sell at 665, and that will be a profit of, for example, 0 0.227. Now on the sell side you can see there's a very large wall where at approximately six hundred and sixty six dollars there's approximately 160 ethereum for sale so if we try to price our ethereum higher than that of course we'd like to sell it for as much as we can but unfortunately there won't be too many buyers and similarly, we may offer to buy Ethereum for $500, for example, but there's not going to be too many people selling at that price. However, there's a lot of people that are willing to buy 
to sell at $663 and there's people wanting to buy at $664. So that's that's our spread. Now here is a visualization of again Ethereum at two different time periods. So we can see our blue lines shifted and our red line shifted. So for example, and this one the right side pair is actually the first one you can see where it says cycle 0 and then the left side is our cycle 1. And I've included time periods in the future versions of this code, which you will see. However, this one we see our spread goes from 0.08% to 0.02%. So very close spread. The prices are almost identical. For example, in our cycle 1, which is our second cycle, the max bid is $664.85. And the minimum ask is $665 flat. So that approximately a 15 cent difference between the two. So we will see varying spreads based upon the time. There's also varying quantities for sale and offered to buy as you can see from these graphs. So this is uh, three different time periods. I know it's a little bit jumbled and I'm going to work on the colors so that way the different time periods are different colors. But this just goes to show the drastic changes in quantities for sale, prices, spreads. And these were all taken at two minutes apart. So you can tell there's definitely a lot of activity in these market book orders for buying and selling. So these were a different coin, Pivx to BNB. So Pivx to uh, the Binance coin which the Binance coin is going to be a very good coin for us to use in this as our base bottom coin because then the transaction fee is only 0.05%. So this one has a spread of 1.33%. So the 0.05% is, is uh, very good. And on this one we can see there's a lot of people that want to buy and there's not a lot of people that want that currently are are looking to sell this one is brd to bnb and again we see that on this one it's a little different than the last one there's a lot of people that want to buy at point zero just shy of point zero four eight but there's not a lot of people that want to sell uh the volume is very low for example we have at 0 0.048, nearly 17,500 coins for that are wanting to be bought. But even at 0 0.050, the amount of selling action is only 2,500. So this is, uh, you'll see this a lot. This shows that there's, could use some liquidity. And, it's an, and on this one, the spread is 1.6%. So it's a, Pretty good sp spread. So on this one is a QTUM to the tethered to or compared to tether, so the dollar. And we see a sell wall and a buy wall on both of these where the line goes almost vertical at that price. So that means that in order for that price to go higher than, for example, 21.15, there's going to someone's going to need to purchase approximately 1400 of the QTUMs and similarly if you want if the price is to go lower than 20.85 there has to be sold approximately 1200 of them so that also gives you a good idea about price and market and everything like that so this is BTC and you can see there's a lot of people willing to sell BTC at the minimum asking price of 9445 and since the there's a lot of buyers and sellers with BTC the spread on this is only 0 0.0037 so if we were to for example scalping at this moment in time on this currency pair more than likely all of our profit would be taken up by fees because it's 0.1% without the BNB 
coin. So that's always something to keep in mind with, with scalping. You want to make sure that your spread is greater than your trend, your fee. Otherwise, you're going to just lose all your profit to fees. And I'll discuss this a little bit more. So this is a two-minute difference between BTC and USDT, so Tether. And although there was a, a lot, there's a lot of buyers and sellers, so the price can move rather quickly. This is only 120 seconds difference between the two. And you can see cycle zero is the left pair, cycle one is the right pair. And our spread goes from 0 0.0486 to 0 0.0973. So it's as the price changes, the spread will change as well. So you always have to keep that in mind. And we can see once this price sh shifts slightly, there's a lot of people willing to sell at the $9,440 price. Now this is BTC to USDT with only a, with a cycle time of a second. So you can tell, you can see that the bids, the blue lines didn't change very much. However, the red lines jumped by approximately during this time to Bitcoin. Now the, the spread didn't change very much at all, but the quantity did sell. So now with that said, it kind of confuses our understanding of price, doesn't it? Because is our price our bid or is our price our ask? Because they're two different numbers and on coin market cap and you always hear the Bitcoin price is 10,000, for example. Well, the, and we see here there's a bid and an ask and there's always a spread. So there's always a difference between the two. So with this graph I added a price which is the green which is an average between the max bid and the min ask so it's right in between the two and it's I believe this is generally how coin market cap and other places determine their price as well or it could be the last price sold now that our price is definitely good to know and our bids and our asks are good to know, but we still need to be able to determine our positions that we're going to put offer, put up bids, and put up asks. So again, we don't want to buy high and sell low. We want to buy low and sell high. So we, and again, taking into consideration the buy walls and the sell walls, we there's a lot of since we're taking small profits there's actually a few risks involved for example if the price were to drop drastically and we buy we could be buying into a down market and similarly if the price increases drastically we are going to sell and miss out on all those gains so this you've got to be very careful with that now, what I have coded in is entry points, which take into consideration buy and sell walls. So it will place a bid just slightly higher than the bid walls, and it'll put a sell slightly lower than the sell wall. So we don't want to be selling at it too inexpensively or buying too highly, but however, if we're protected by the buy and sell walls, then that's going to protect a lot of our profits as well. And again, there's going to be a spread involved between these two currencies as well. So for example, this one is BTC USD, and the projected spread on this is 0 0.3315. So you can see the bid and sell offers that we're going to be placing are right on those sell walls, just slightly to the, to the left, for the for selling and slightly to the right for buying so this has a projected spread of 0.33 now this is at icx compared to bnb and this has a projected spread of one percent so 1.08 percent and that's due to the larger well the smaller um 
market orders and therefore it has less liquidity. Now the spread on this ICX BNB is 0.65%, but we're going to be placing our orders with a projected spread of 1%. Now this is the BNB coin, so our transfer fee will only be 0.05%. I know this can be a little bit challenging, but I believe you're getting the idea behind it. So the dangers of scalping, as I mentioned before, if, if the price drastically increases, we're going to be selling into a bull market. And therefore, if it increases drastically, we miss out on that. And again, if the price drastically decreases, we're going to be buying into that. So our code is also going to take into consideration these scenarios. So... If the price is drastically decreasing, we're going to be pulling our bids and lowering those. And if the price is increasing, we're going to be pulling our asks and raising those. Now also, our fees can eat the entire profit. So if this if the spread is less than 0.05% or 0.1% on a non-BNB coin, we're going to be losing money to fees so that's going to be something to keep aware of and also just because our projected profit is uh one percent doesn't mean we're going to be getting that it's just that's a, pro a projected and also we may need to tighten some of those windows as well so that way they're not right next to the sell wall because we may not actually buy or sell at those prices so it may need to be closer to the price which is going to decrease our profits so in conclusion, I described the strategy of scalping. Hopefully it was clear. If not, you can read more about this online. Also, I described the code for scalping and market making, what makes it work. We saw, And we saw some visual examples of how this strategy works, where our entry points, where the price points are, and where the sell walls are. Uh, I will be editing the code. Well, I've edited the code. And it's available through Gib. Thank you. Have a nice day.